that Leanne actually started. Um, we may come up to this document previously, um, but what she did is she went through the negotiation agreement and searched for every instance of professional counsel. Um, and then I went through and uh, on the same document, it has page number, it has the direct quote from the negotiation agreement. And on the um, left side, excuse me, right side, <laughs> it has like, what the topic is. I went through and identified which of those rows were specifically about the annual review. So some of these, like the verb movements, not on the agenda today, um, the role of professional counsel as a model collaboration, that's not particularly on the agenda today. But I thought that all of this information is a good review for those of us that have been on professional counsel for a while, and then those of uh, you that are new to professional counsel, because those are some key pieces that I just kind of want to pull out of the agreement. So I don't, so I don't know if there's a particular order you all would like to go in. Um, but I, but I thought, thought with the, the, the goal, goal of establishing a timeline for these review items, items and we can go in the order of all the documents, or easy to hardest, hardest easiest. I'll try that. Let's work through yeah. all of them. Oh, they are on the agenda, too, either one. Or Perfect. On, on the document, either way. Yeah. yeah. And I hope Hopefully, the agenda has a document line. Okay. Um, at first, one of the GCC page 11, 11 is about the um, retirement insurance benefits. Um, it, it just says, says the policy will be reviewed annually and report made to the professional council. I don't think this is something we've ever gone into great depth about, um, but I'm not sure we've been able to get even a brief report on this um, in the past couple of years. I don't know what a good time would be for such reports. Is it really reporting out like participation in it? I mean, it, I th is it like May? It, yeah, yeah. Does it think it's, 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 it's extended? Yeah, it's very vague. Is it within the report, I guess? Yeah. It, the, it does not speak to that. I know in the past we have had conversations about um, just the fiscal impact if it's if it's fiscally possible to move forward with it. Um, but that this is this is one of the ones I was like, yeah, we probably should talk about this and um, what we'd like to see in that report. Um, because <laughs> of this very vague. So I read this as being um, related to VERP. Yeah. Well, the first one is not the, the first one's the retirement. Plan. The retirement. We have two different policies. Okay. We have a retirement benefit, and then we have an early voluntary early retirement. Benefit. Okay, great. Yeah. So those are two separate policies. But the first one, the retirement policy, follows the same timeline for notice as the, the VERP does, which is February 1. So the earliest that report could be made if we wanted information on how many people participate would be probably be March. Yeah. Okay. Does that work? March 1 then, or just March? Whenever so our... You just say month of March. The month of March, I think, I think yeah. to give us that flexibility, I think yeah. that would be, yeah. Okay. Would that be for both of them? Are you thinking, John? The, okay. okay. That next one is district wide program assignments. I know we have looked at that before. Mm -hmm. um, I think we usually look at that in the second semester. I mean, obviously, if there's some of these items that we can take care of first semester to open up time for negotiation second semester, I think that would be good. But there's there's going to be some things that we just can't move because of the nature of. I think this is one we could look at earlier because it's just the identification of those district wide assignments that basically the district can just determine. Mm -hmm you know, where those individuals are placed based on enrollment and needs in those programs. So, so our second quarter second meeting? Second quarter meeting. Yeah, that'd, yeah. Be, that'd be perfect. Perfect. 
Is the riff list also included in this? That is actually the next one. Look at you. Sorry. No, no, you were, you were transitioning. Yeah, I was like, yeah. The second one. I mean, it says that a list of assignments shall be developed annually by the superintendent da, 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 and provided professional counsel by December 1st of each year. So that kind of the timeline's built in a little bit there for us. Mm -hmm. um, if we're instituting a reduction. Oh, yeah, I just said that. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Well, I guess so, so the list would still be provided, but not necessarily instituted. Right? Looks that way. So, in where it reads, mm -hmm. that list is provided by December 1st, whether we're going to implement it. Right. Uh, and this is just a master <laughs> list of, yeah. Yeah, of the categories. Mm -hmm. Our next meeting, I think, is December 2nd. So I think the earliest we could do would be December 2nd, but I think the second quarter. Yeah. And that might be something we want to look at um, perhaps in the future about maybe providing a little more flexibility on that date. Mm -hmm. um, PC invariances, I didn't highlight that piece because that's not an annual review. Um, but we do have that, uh, we have our variance committee. I think Megan joined us on the variance committee. Um, Todd Wheat has served on the variance committee. And I think he's still on the email list. He, he did, he replied to the email. I think <laughs> so I, I, so email. let's not tell him yeah. that he's not on that variance committee. And we guess we added, we added Megan. Yeah. Are those all the people on that variance committee? Yeah, and we have, I mean, non-professional council people on that yeah. committee too. So. Um, Todd didn't protest when he got the email. So, I'll, uh, so I, I think it would be helpful just to have that historical knowledge too, if, if he's willing to, yeah. especially for a year, he's willing to, so I'll follow up with that. Perfect. So we don't need to really talk about time on that, but I thought since that popped into my head. Um, the next one um, on page 33, when I read through that, I just wrote a note on the side, this is just something maybe we can all tuck in our brains and make sure we're reading it the same way. Um, when I read that policy, I was reading it as PTO doesn't count as one of our items for negotiations. Again, that's not at all related to timeline, <laughs> but I, I was like, oh, I don't remember ever knowing that before. So I thought I would put that in there so you all could kind of read it and consult. That was part of our conversation. We had the, the language earlier. Okay, so that's something we talked about. Okay. Again. I, I do remember that. Okay, okay. I'm going to see it. This is why we have people like you that can remember things. Yeah. All right. The next one that goes with um, our annual review items would be lead committee. Um, the very last sentence the lead bank committee shall be reviewed annually, which to me, I think is just the people on the committee. So I think we're going to do committee review today. So mm -hmm. this is probably a first quarter thing. And maybe this, though, is the report because this is about the lead bank. I think this is the report where we're just sharing out like where the lead bank is currently sitting, you know, in terms of okay. how many days do we have in there? How many Perfect. members do we I'm always looking for more information. Um, so I think we could do that. <laughs> at, well, let me think about it. Yeah, we could do that at the December 2nd meeting, Second. too. Okay. Second quarter. Second quarter. Yep. Love that. Okay. Role of PC of, as uh, collaborators, purpose of PC, more just background, but when they include that in there. Um, the bylaws, which we have later on our agenda for today, so I kind of put that in the, <laughs> in, in the first quarter because um, there's a couple things in the bylaws I want us to look at. And then the association activities review. Um, this might be something that we can take care of today if there's anything that you all see we need to discuss. Um, but I thought that might be a first quarter activity. Which one is that? Uh, that'd be the page 39. It says PC bylaws and association activities review. The association activities are just what's listed right there. And then I have a copy of the bylaws that we're gonna look at a little bit later. But I would suggest we do that first quarter. Um,
And then I don't believe anything else on this list is an annual review item, but did want to include everything that mentioned professional counsel. Anything else? So second quarter, we have programs. Assignment area review, which I think is a net to write with the. the I have now for second quarter, I'm taking the program assignments, reduction in force, the committee, uh, the leave, Bank report, <clears throat> and I think that's it. Yeah. Yep. Got it. All right. All right. We can either go into bylaws next, or we can take a moment to look at our committee list. Yeah, I said it's still evolving a little bit because you still got some open slots. Yeah. So maybe it may be. To come back to that, back to that. Um, second quarter. So do that. maybe with the goal of having all those all slots filled and, and uh, any switch outs done by the December meetings. So yeah, okay. yeah, that works. Um, I think the only other thing that caught my attention um, on that is going to come back to me. Oh, there were two things. One was um, on that document, the elementary committee is still called elementary plan, and mm -hmm. our middle school and high school are just middle and high school. Is it okay if we just call it the elementary committee? Yes. <laughs> okay. I, yeah. I would not be mad. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it'll be a whole different thing. Dramatic. 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 Yeah. Dramatic. 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 The other one that I had a question about, um, we had that PTO committee was obviously did a lot of work the past couple of years. <clears throat> um, and I know last year we talked about this a little bit about being able to um, Kind of take a look at some data on how PTO is going and how it's impacting all of the things. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if that's something that we want to do at the larger table um, or in the committee and have the committee report out. I didn't know um, what you all thought would be the best course of action. I think we just bring it here. Okay. Um, ultimately, we'd want to hear it here anyway. Right. I think <coughs> so. Okay. I think that's that will work. Yeah. Would it be helpful to take a look um, at some um, data regarding regarding PTO before the end of the semester, or we would want to look at that when we come back? Yeah. So I just was meeting and talking with um, Shelley and Substitute Services to see what kind of data we can run, mm -hmm. like that's not going to create a ton more work. Yeah. And I think anything that we can pick that lands at either the quarter or the semester end mm -hmm. is probably so she was going to do some digging to see if she what she could compile mm -hmm. for first quarter and kind of be able to get a comparison to a year ago yeah. first quarter. But I think end of the semester mm -hmm. would probably be helpful. Let us get a little more time. Okay. You know, first quarter is still a brand new policy. Yeah, when it's bright and shiny and new, mm -hmm. you know, it probably is a little less accurate in terms of mm -hmm. what it's going to pan out to look like. We've already seen that, so. Yeah. So we're thinking maybe our first uh, meeting we come back in person. Yeah, time. let's do that. <laughs> and then, were you, Angie, were you going to bring up conferences? Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know. You want to do that, Megan? I'll do it. I'll do it. We, we were just having conversations about how Todd was the lead for the conferences um, committee. Mm -hmm. And so we were just trying to plan ahead mm -hmm. so, and thinking about that, who would take over that lead role. And I don't know if talked about this, but I, I talked to Jay. Yeah, you're looking it. at him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 
I know, I was going to shout out real close. I was like, yeah. like to see you make sure that. She was saying if I remember. I what she was doing. Uh, one, because she had been on it for a few years and Dan was part of that. And so I had her pencil in as a replacement for Todd on that as far as chair. And then uh, I don't know if Patricia knows this yet, but she's that place Todd up as actually the reference. Elementary representative on that. Okay. Okay. I think Julie said she'd be willing to help in on that committee too. She's interested yes. in, um, in that committee. So um, that would give us two people from north. So we might want to Yeah, we might want to diversify that a little bit. I'm sure I'm sure somebody would be very upset if they thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Megan, for reminding me about committee. Anything else on that? I think yeah. I was <laughs> My plan was just to try to do my best to, to, to fill in the holes with Leanne. <laughs> um, and I think actually there's one more committee piece um, for extracurricular um, and academic support. Eric was going to continue on that committee, but Kurt Parker was really interested in maybe stepping up on that committee. Um, and I haven't had a chance to talk to um, uh, Eric, benefits Eric yet, about maybe seeing if... Um, they would be willing to co-chair that one together um, mm -hmm. just to kind of take one thing off of this Eric's um, plate. Um, so I'll, I'll chat with Eric about that, but I thought I'd mention that here. And um, he's on our executive board, but obviously he's not on professional council. So I wanted to be able to kind of throw that out. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shall we look at some bylaws? <coughs> I know you all, sound, yep. you all sound very excited. I don't know if you do the access points on those, but we had trouble with the committee list and bylaws. Just being able to connect on our agenda. To the link. Yeah, we request access. Oh, um, yeah, isn't that harder than? Well, no, they've got well, access to folder, but the link they just work. Oh, okay. they just me. Mm -hmm. Did you get committee list? Okay. So those documents housed in the T, the T drive. Yeah. Okay. okay. They should have. You guys should have access. We did that with uh, Eric. Look here. Okay. Maybe she just shut down. Isn't that the key? Restart? Yeah. I requested it, so whoever it may go to. Or, say who? <laughs> it's a, this is I can look up. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't I didn't know if it was but you've got access to the document, so it's not the document. Uh -huh, that's creator, weird. The uh -huh. link. Just the link directly to it. Yeah. <laughs> Which one where you have a hard time docu uh, accessing the bylaws? <laughs> yes, and the update committee list. So really, I just, but so the other ones all worked. Oh, that is very interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Except one thing here, and then you have to get tough. Mm -hmm. She may well go we'll try to go actually go in the folder and not do the link. You had access to that last year, didn't you? Yeah, she did. A little. A little. <laughs> <laughs> I would go to the roundabout way that it they showed me go through the agenda and then. then but it's okay. We're good. Keep going. I can look up. Yeah, please. I knew so members got it. Share. <laughs> Two tech people with those mm -hmm. owners. So, well, strange that some work. Yeah, that is yeah. very, it might be that some of these folder. are from newer folders versus older folders, but the committee list should, I put that in this year's folder. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Um, I can at least download those two and email them to you so you can see them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So our bylaws review, um, 
there are a couple things I noticed that might be a little outdated that we want to um, freshen up. And there's um, one piece that I couldn't find <laughs> that I thought we'd talk about. If I can't find it in the in the old T drive, it might be something that we don't need anymore. Um, but in looking at the core values, I, I don't know if there's anything there we would want to change, except for maybe um, we we mess around a little bit with that. Students prepared for the mm -hmm. future. Is it their future is our future, or do we want to keep the original one? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm 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 glad. I'm glad we all. Yeah. Yeah, at, least the, at least the at least the committee drive. list. If you go to the T drive, yeah, the sure the folder, drive. Yeah. it should be. And sometimes it may just be like it's a bit of space or something. Like that. Oh, they're just doing that now. It's not yeah. Out. It is. <laughs> and some work is like that. Yeah. Trying to share you the document. Jack and I have to share it by going into the T drive. I get to it fine. It lets me access it, but it won't let me access Weird it. through the link. Okay. I just tried to share you a fresh link, the two of you. So thank you. See if that works. And I'm going to do the actual folder and look. So thank you. Good. Yep. All right. We need more time on those pages. Okay. Um, did the bylaws make it all the way around? It's got yellow at the bottom. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. We are. Yes. 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 Not being able to access things is rough track for sure. Okay, so earlier I was talking about the very first paragraph, students prepare for their future. I know in the board meetings there's been a lot of conversation about updating that. Mm -hmm. Didn't know if we just want to keep the original students prepared for the future if we wanted to update that. Yeah, their future is our future. Yeah, we're probably right. changing the match. What we currently use. Okay. Um, membership, we changed that a couple of years ago to allow the designee superintendent <coughs> or I like any president or designee. So that change is good. Under meetings, we didn't change um, letters are exchanged as established by the superintendent and the president of Olathe That part remained there, but in the situation of the superintendent or the president is on professional counsel, um, I guess I didn't know if we if we just need to say as established by co-chairs. Because it says up in the top, superintendent and president are appointees act as the coach as co-chairs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't say it doesn't really say who the co-chairs are. Um, or you leave that word in there and just include more than designated. Word yeah. out of more designated. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So get rid of the co-chair part and just say designated. No, it's say like say yeah. superintendent of schools or, or designated. Yeah. Okay. Or designated you should have to Okay. Um, in that last sentence under meetings, um, I found a few documents um, identified as expectations, which I've got to look at in a moment. I could not find anything in all of the files labeled operational guidelines. I was trying to think of something like what in the years that I've been on professional counsel, is there a document that has Right, that that but I think the expectations documents <laughs> cover all the things. Yeah, right. I actually think it's the same document as something so, that I'm going to drop to operational guidelines. Mm -hmm. I think okay. it's the title of expectations and operational. Yeah. So I think uh, it's the title, probably. 
thing. I and got, it's got short to expectations. Yeah. Yeah. No, we got in a 45 minute discussion about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You are right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. We, we don't want to go back quite there, right? We want to know our history. But, um, I don't. I didn't know if it would be okay just to say the expectations and the council bylaws. Yes, yes. Keep it, yeah. We are not. <laughs> Always a fan of yes. simplifying. Yep. <clears throat> I didn't see anything until decision making that we might want to look at. I'll give you all a few moments to review the rest of that. Under agenda, could you clarify what it means by agenda items are subject to approval of the council? <clears throat> yeah, I think the, the way that we've operated um, really throughout the history of professional council that I've been involved is we haven't gotten too ca caught up in like Robert's Rules of Order like we do in our like the NEA meetings where we like mm -hmm. officially adopt the agenda. Um, <laughs> that is something we can do. Um, but I think the way that I think we've interpreted this is that the agenda is communicated in advance and members of professional council have an opportunity to say, hey, are we gonna talk about this? Can we add this to the next agenda? Um, I think that's a good clarifying question. I think the approval is more like we're starting the meeting and we're going <laughs> and you had an opportunity beforehand to see it, but we can, I think we can always adjust and tighten that um, if we need to, we've just been a little more informal at this table. I'm just trying to think through when I read this <coughs> section about decision making. Mm -hmm. If we, outside of once we enter into kind of formal negotiations, I, are have, mm -hmm. have we made decisions? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, yeah. I was surprised to see that because I remember Dr. Vanikowski repeatedly saying, "We don't vote." Mm. Yeah, so no, I just yeah the, that was the voting is in there and I think that we've always said it's in our bylaws but we come to consensus and we've never taken it out of the bylaws mm -hmm. the voting because I think about our negotiations when we're you know like I think that that is ultimately what we're working to do but we don't ever we don't ever vote either. I don't really I, remember I wonder if when I first got on the council six, seven years ago now, I guess, we were meeting monthly. Every once in a while, there would be almost individual cases coming mm -hmm. to the professional council, um, almost like as an exception to a policy, basically. Like they didn't get their hours turned in um, and by the deadline, but right. this was the reason or this was the mm -hmm. complication. Would we make an exception or a variance type thing? Yeah. And I don't know if maybe that's where the voting yeah. thing came in yeah. on smaller yeah, things. He does email, I mean, not a professional counsel per se. Mm -hmm. um, we bank does the same thing. Mm -hmm. We bank committee. Yeah. You know, we, we vote. Yeah. But, I don't know whether it was on the smaller individual issues like that at maybe one yeah. time they would vote if they didn't come to consensus on. I, I, mean, I can remember probably maybe one or two times that we voted on something. It's been on quite a while. But maybe during COVID, there might have been something that we struggled to come to consensus on. Yeah. But I think it was almost, voting was like almost a formality. We were like, we're all, yeah. we're all on the same page. Yeah, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I feel like actually we had something last year, like this previous year. That we we didn't vote, but that we talked about that didn't fall under the purview of 
like uh, uh, what we brought to the table. Um, you know, like um, the snow um, day. Yeah, the oh, food. the policy. Or yeah, the, yeah, where it's the, like we graphic. called it this, yeah. but it was on this paper, and like it's uh -huh. not a. We had kind of input. We didn't vote on it, but it wasn't necessarily part of the biggest agreement. Should is voting pigeonholing us? Should we open that up a little more to be like such conversations may exist? <laughs> I mean, I think the the intent of the bylaws is consensus. Yeah. Um, I did pull the away from public school decision making process, and instead of printing up another sheet, this is what I found it's on the agenda is what has been outlined as a decision making process. Um, historically, I don't think maybe we looked at it in a while, um, but as I read it, I was like, yeah, that's kind of what we do. Issues to be resolved informally, starting at the lowest level. I guess 2019, look at that. What if we screw up the last sentence because <clears throat> The statement before the council would seek alternatives through further discussion. What if we come up with an alternative that, hey, we got to just come to a vote? We don't stipulate voting in here. So you would suggest for our bylaws we would take off in cases where voting occurs, seven affirmative votes are required, all of standing votes be reported as an extension? Just a suggestion. Does the statement before it just kind of open the door? If we get there on something, we can do it. Well, I also, like, maybe I'm Maybe I'm overarching this, but when we're talking about our, <clears throat> wouldn't these bylaws also be applying to how do we come to decisions through negotiations? Mm -hmm. And so I don't want to give an incorrect process for how we're doing that that doesn't match what we're doing in action either. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah. So I think, Hutch, with your recommendation, that probably does better. I mean, I guess the fact that no one can recall voting on anything <laughs> for the past seven years means it probably hasn't been used much. Mm -hmm. so, it has always been the intent, intent to not vote. Yeah, so, to something else. so do we really still need it if we haven't used it in um, 10 years? Well, I think to your point, if we found us in a situation where we needed it, the, for the seeking alternatives through, through further discussion still yes. permits us to fall back to that. Yeah. And we may say, we okay, actually, we do need to vote on this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's not like there's consensus to get rid of that sentence that begins in cases where voting occurs. I think we should vote. Right? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think through it, and not that I've been on for years. Um, I think it's probably like you're talking about, Clint, is probably voting on individual scenario, like the lead bank, because if we're voting on larger items, there's six in yeah. with the association, yeah. six I, with the. I, so, right. it, yeah, we're are we going to share? You go, hey, I'll give you my vote. Yeah. You know, it doesn't really, you know, I mean, that kind of goes against the whole process. So, I think it's I think probably. It was more, when there was a group having an individual situation, basically asking. To yeah. We used to do that all of the mess at the table. Kind of yeah. I think maybe that's where that came from. Maybe I remember way back when we did people didn't agree that basically went to a vote and it was thumbs up, thumbs down, mm -hmm. basically to give the variance, which, like you said, we do it formally through the leave committee or the variance right. committee or things like that. But that's yeah. how it's established. I can, what I can do, um, and of course, there's other things we can block on this, but I can take the suggestions that we've had and bring that as a clean copy for us to look at in the second quarter meeting just to be like, yep, that's what we meant. Um, since we're doing bylaw changes and generally bylaw changes are something we consider for a while. So, okay. Anything else on the bylaws? Okay. So, I think I'm almost done with paper. Mm -hmm. So, as you all know, um, last year, the year before, we developed the How We Will Work, which is at the bottom of the agenda, and it goes to the back, the How We Will Work and Processes Were Used. 
And in my mind, I think that that um, those bulleted lists were really um, serving the function of what we used to have like formal documents for. And I'm not trying to make anything more difficult or go back to big formal documents. I just want to make sure if we want to have um, the bullet to the list that we have on the agenda, that is fantastic. I just want to make sure that we don't, we aren't missing anything. Um, and that when we have references to our bylaws, we know what those things refer to. I think that we do and I chat about the agenda and look at the agenda. A lot of similarities between yeah, we were like these like feel you know, like these are kind of the same thing, different words. Um, but the general expectations, the last copy I could find in the T drive were from 2021. That was a that was a fun year. Um, and then the communication expectations, um, I think those were actually last looked at in 2017 and 2019. Um, although the document says 2015, but it was in a folder that was a little bit newer than that. So I thought I'd give both of you those both of you that give both give you those both of those documents. I'll get my words out. Um, be quiet for a few minutes and then we can kind of see what we want to do with them. Okay, sorry. Yeah. I really was paying attention. That's okay. None of the words came out right. So even if you were so these matter. are two drafts of what have been used in the past. Yes, so this is out. the general expectations and this is the these communications. Are that in our well, no wonder we have so many documents yes. in there. Okay. Yep. So now we're trying to figure out, can, are these things covered in what we've got here? Right, because in our bylaws, it refers to expectations. Right. And I just want to be explicit about if we, what are the expectations, because we also have what we've followed the past couple of years. And I'm fine with these. I just want to make sure we've got everything covered. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is the question about revising these documents or is the question, do we need these documents? I think the question is when the bylaws refer to expectations, because it says, no, I can find it. Under meetings, the first meeting is an organizational meeting reviewing expectations and council bylaws. Are we saying expectations with like a lowercase e? like the ones that are on the agenda? Or are we talking about expectations with a capital E because there's a document with the name on it? 
Right. Well, <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Or somehow yeah, combining I, them. I mean, I think a lot, if not all, of what is on the capital E expectations form is in kind of how we will work. And I don't know, personally, versus getting out an expectations document every meeting to sit there and make sure we're following. I like having them on the agenda because it's a good reminder of, I probably need to listen and understand. I probably need to be respectful. And, you know, that's stuff because I need to remind myself a lot of that, I guess. I <laughs> but, um, but I don't know, just having it up front and center versus a document that's tucked away. I mean, I've, I've liked having it on the yeah. agendas too. So, I mean, I guess if there's something we see on the expectations form that isn't in the how it will work, I guess we can add it. But I, I like it here versus a separate document. And we can even change in the bylaws, you could say, first meeting of the organizational meeting reviewing the, how we will, the work, how we will work process or something like that. We could change yeah. the name from the expectations term to. I, I don't know, I yes, I agree. Um, I think the expectations with E though, I feel like the old school one, this is sets um, expectations for like, timely communication to bargaining unit, mm -hmm. like expectations for joint communication, Thing like more on the operating side, whereas I think the how we will work and but that's, the, but that's what it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about the yeah. Well, I was gonna say, I'm all for this, this is for like our personal <laughs> like decor. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I see now <laughs> the subheading. Yeah, so yeah, I do think that the communication expectations do seem a little broader. Yeah, and those aren't them. really included in anything. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was just thinking actually on that. I had so under the communication expectations, I felt like that was kind of our processes we will use yeah. that yeah. we've got here. Mm -hmm. And really, the two that I found that we didn't have covered right now are the third and fourth bullets. Like in developing a communication plan, we'll consider timing target audience talking points. And then as appropriate, a joint memo and or email is provide, prepared by members appointed by the council. And, and we've so, done that in the past, because right. usually it gets sent, or when we did joint one, it was Leanne and I would send it out and sign it with the whole council's mm -hmm. name and send it out, so we've done that. I mean, I, I don't know if we maybe, if you we wanted to add those two under here, then we might be able to yeah. be, do, Away oh, with both of these, yeah. Because yeah. the concern with having any kind of extra documents is like, yeah, like go back to these communication expectations. That first point no longer describes the way that we have handled minutes. Right. Right. There's references to a T drive yes. that doesn't exist anymore, yes. which I know we still call it the T drive, but right. mm -hmm. so, I think the more the, we can get it in one place, yes, mm -hmm. yeah, to take like the third and fourth mm -hmm. bullet or box. Mm -hmm. if you know, Processes. Yeah, there's quite a few of those bullets in there that don't apply. Yeah, they aren't really One thing that um, Julia mentioned um, is on under processes about taking minutes and um, sending it out for everybody to review. Um, she suggested that we might consider, it's not so much an issue for semester, we only have two meetings, um, but when things are like popping, yeah. there were a couple times that we're still waiting for the minutes to review to the previous meeting mm -hmm. when we met. So she suggested maybe we consider putting something about like after a certain time, and I don't know what that time would be, mm -hmm. that if somebody doesn't respond to say, I agree with the minutes, mm -hmm. that they're approved. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just super yeah. or in the past, yeah. we've had two people yeah. be the primary, like I'm really gonna read the minutes carefully, one on the district side and one on the um, ONA side, that they were the primary. Everybody else had a chance to chime in, but. It seemed like getting the minutes approved last year was a bit of a stumbling block. Mm -hmm. So maybe there's something we can shift a little bit in our process there. I wonder if timeline if we just said we had to respond to the minutes prior mm -hmm. to the next meeting. Mm -hmm. 
because sometimes people aren't I mean, even able to respond before the next meeting. <coughs> because when you're meeting, there was a couple times we met like on a Wednesday and they met the next Monday. It was right. You know, and mm -hmm. so, I mean, they would have had to respond Friday or Saturday mm -hmm. if you're a couple days ahead. So, I mean, ultimately, if, if there's a correction needed, mm -hmm. it, the response <coughs> would be needed prior to. <coughs> Or if they look within a week or by the next or week. previous to like, yeah. we would want to wait until second December second. Right. So within a week yeah. or prior to the next meeting, if less than a week. Meetings or how that doesn't affect second. anything for getting it into in the know, is it? That wouldn't like put us in a position. No, because those always go out on Tuesdays, okay. and so there were times that they almost had to wait till the next yeah. week anyway, just because mm -hmm. if we met on a Tuesday, obviously it didn't get into yeah. the next Tuesday. So the suggestion is to do that within a week or prior to the next meeting, whichever soon. Yes. Yeah. Do the minutes get added to the district website once the internet is sent out? Yes. So the under processes, final minutes are submitted to communications department to be both added to the professional council website and included in the yeah. internet. Is that is that what you asked? Yeah, I just okay. didn't know if. Like if the website, if there was potential for the website to be updated before the next in the know went out. Does that make sense? So when they send it, mm -hmm. when, whenever we send it to them, it gets both places. So yes, as soon okay. as they get it, it goes to the website. Perfect. So they may actually get the website before the in the know goes out. Probably to make sure that the next meeting gets noticed and the next in the know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On the professional council website, it says there are no professional council meetings scheduled at this time. So we'll 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 do better there. <laughs> <laughs> That's Marlene. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get that fixed. And I know actually I don't think you're on the website yet. So <laughs> we'll get you on there. Do a new member spotlight for. There we yeah. go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Communications will be taking We'll get the makeup artist to your to your building soon. You know. <laughs> the other thing on processes we will use. We have new humans with us. Um, our last bullet. <laughs> Draft consensus folder. I know it's I know. I'm so sorry. We all bring it up. I'm so sorry. But we probably should again review what that means because I think that was a stumbling block in communication. I think last year. Last year. Last year we were good. It was great. Yeah. Uh, I just don't yes. want to repeat a prior yeah. stumbling and, and block. We had some discussion last year. Yes. Clarify what yeah. That means. Yeah, we didn't have those stumbling blocks last year. We did this year. Clarify. Yeah. So for our new people, what would be a good way to summarize the use of the track consensus folder? Well, the way the way we used it last year <laughs> and the way it worked, I guess, fairly well, was once we came to a consensus in this room and said we made any changes, talked through any um, issues, either side head with anything and kind of settled on something. Yes, we all agree on this. And we came to that consensus without voting, by the way. Um, then that draft goes into the draft consensus folder. And there were, there were uh, I think I remember a time where later we even came back and said, oh, that wording is a little off. Or we, I, I think the intent was we agreed to this and we went back and so changed maybe something. Unintended, yes. Yeah. Not we're, a, we were going to agree to it. Now we're going to pull it out. But yeah. Like, Oh, we didn't think about this. Right. So it wasn't it wasn't any changes that changed the spirit of what was agreed to. It was a clerical thing or mm -hmm. something that was we both agreed again. Yeah, that's not what we meant. This is how to better say that. So, but but to kind of make it feel like we're getting something oh, done, yeah. <laughs> that we put something in and say we've kind of put that to bed. That, that we've come to agree. Kind of a parking lot. Yes. 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 Yeah. Everything is used in a package mm -hmm. for bargaining. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Well, I think processes we will use. We can always come back to something, but I think we dug into those pretty well. The how we will work. 
I mean, there's some things on the expectations that aren't explicitly on here, but I don't, I can't imagine communicate in a professional manner. Like, I think, like, yeah. we, we do use words like respectfully, but. The second to last bullet I was rereading the council considers this important to deal with at the time and as a group. I think that was supposed to be like a subset of if someone feels that communication norms have been broken, we need to feel comfortable respectfully pointing this out. I feel like we had a conversation that we need to do that. Yeah. yeah. So it was like a sub bullet and the bullets got mixed yeah. up. Uh, That's yeah. what I think. Because I don't think it's a standalone. Because yeah. I was looking at the bullets, I was like, quick communications, like the main bullet, and then listen to understand or sub bullets. You're exactly right. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like the bullets did get a little. So the listen to understand. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a sponge would be out. Yeah, I think maybe they're all main bullets except for that one. Yeah. 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 Okay. So if I remember correctly here, Eric suggested in the bylaws, we would say the first meeting is an organizational meeting, reviewing how the council will work and the processes it will use in the council bylaws, rather than just saying expectations. I think that's what yeah. you suggested earlier. I'm not, I'm not making that up in my head. Okay. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Anything else that is unclearly discussed? You know, I like my three bolt punches. I used to do that. So, yeah, let's go with it. I will, I will I strive to see that. Like it. I may be late on committee, getting pink committee. So, I think now what we decided is the expectations and communication expectations are not historical documents. Yes. We'll keep them on here. <laughs> Um, I think the only other thing I would just maybe like a little clarification on would be the decision solving process. Since that is like in caps under decision making. Um, what do you want? Sorry. Uh, sorry, on the bylaws, the okay. um, highlighted part. Number three. Yes. Um, yeah, number three. In the bylaws, it says the council shall use the Olathe Public Schools decision making process. And it's in caps, like a title. Am I making sense yet, Michelle? Yeah. And, and this then, what's on the agenda is the... That is what I found last confirmed in 2019 is our decision-making process. It's kind of like the expectations. I want to know when it refers to this thing, what is the thing? Right. <laughs> so... And where did you find that? So this was a separate document, kind of like these. Oh, so it says decision-making process. It just had fewer words on it, so I didn't print another okay. piece of paper and just put it on the right. agenda, right. Um, which I probably could have done for all of it now that I think about it. So I just kind of want to clarify is... I mean, it's, it's basically our practice. It's, yeah, it's, it's what we do. As long as I think we all know what it refers to. 
Well, and that's what's supported by policy. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. if you look at our policy, mm -hmm. yeah. So, do we have that? I guess the question is: Do we continue to have that as a separate document? Because so like we could process. continue moving it to every year's folder. We could copy and paste this into the bylaws, so it's just there. You could put it at the bottom of the agenda, like we're doing the processes. Why can't we just replace this decision making with that definition right there altogether? Yeah, since we eliminated the whole voting sentences anyway. It's, it's like two sentences now. We can almost just. I think it's important we still mention the consensus piece. That's the only thing I don't see in the okay. quoted language. So maybe just after further discussion, keep those. Um, hold on. The council shall you. The council shall oh, strive for consensus in cases where consensus doesn't occur. The council will seek alternatives for the discussion period, and then have this paragraph underneath it. Yeah. In the paragraph, I know it's not that you try to tear it apart. So kind of towards the end, this decision makes is the fresh council exists to address issues that affect multiple staff members. I'm not just say staff members. Has to be well, that goes back to. I know, but it seems we like. We don't talk about individual items. That could be construed that we're going to discuss about one person. Yeah. And that's what the whole language is trying to do. Yeah, that we don't bring one case to this this body. You would need to be flawed. It could be one. Well, we may have a policy that only affects one. But it should be. I mean, just in practice. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean, it. I mean, it. I mean, it. It tells me that 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 is in, in effect only for multiple. We can only change the. Negotiate agreement if we have multiple staff members that are affected by it. Mm -hmm. We could change the agreement for, for I suppose, theoretically, it affects one or it affects 2,000. I, mean, I don't know. It's it's I, it, it, it's nitpicky. I know I will because there are some policies that are written in our negotiated agreement that right now impact no one. Sure. You know, I mean, yeah. and there, we, there could be a policy that impacted one person, and we would all be in agreement that that policy would need to be looked at or not because. Of the impact on that one person, but yeah, I think the history of it That's was that we, yeah. yeah, yeah, because address issues because again, there were times when one person would bring, like, like I said, they turn in their hours mm -hmm. late or something, and then yes, that was the issue that they would bring before, and I think that word was kind of to get away from that, yeah, yeah. because it makes it, sense, yeah. I mean, I, I see that. Anyway. So your suggestion would be to take out the word multiple. I would. It was me. If we all vote on that, real fast. <laughs> I, vote, no. I wouldn't have a problem I mean, with it saying staff members instead of multiple staff members. Yeah. I think the spirit of it is that we aren't yeah. just bringing individual grievances to this table. Right. So that we can see this next time, I'm going to take this paragraph minus the word multiple, put it in the bylaws. So it's not a separate document. Take off the voting part, and then we'll kind of look at the second quarter and just make sure what we intended is what's happening. Okay. Anything else? I, I know it might feel like a little of a slow start, but um, I think those yeah. of us that have um, yeah. been been part of the council, I think when when you rush through the stuff, there's usually a price to pay at the end. So I'm excited that we're starting off with a good foundation, and as we go along, I think being able to ask those questions is really important for all of us. <laughs> I think sometimes those of us have been around a long time are the worst parts going through things. Um, so we appreciate those of you that bring up those questions. Now Trisha and Megan know the expectations. Now they sure do. Now they can call us on it when they're not following them. <laughs> Thank you all for your time.
we will probably still like each other at the end of second semester too. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I appreciate you uh, in your time tonight. Thanks for being here. Here we go. Back at it. Back at it. Hands back together. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Right. Yeah. Yep. But not a warning. Yeah.